and two, um, I'd love to hear about how the, the walkthrough from the uh, energy efficiency guy um, went um, like a couple weeks ago, went through some of the buildings with Perry. So I'm gonna, you know, love to get, get, get maybe some stories from the trenches. <laughs> you talking about Daryl? So maybe, maybe there's maybe there's a funny, um, yeah. funny anecdote in there. I don't know. Yeah. Um, the, uh, but, uh, okay. You want to you want to do the approval of the minutes first? Yeah, sure. Did you have chance to send those around? I don't think I saw I saw them. Uh, I sent it to you guys this time when I sent it to the town. So. Oh, okay. So they're on the web somewhere. Yeah, uh, we can all go to the web. We can all go. It actually might be a good opportunity to familiarize ourselves with the with I, our our yeah, website. I, honestly, I'll tell you, I don't think the website's real friendly. The new oh, website, yeah, it's, I don't you love them this. Send them to us as an email, so we have that too. Um, let's see here. That was February on, on February second. All right, let me see. Here's our here's our website. I put it in the chat box. Meeting materials. Oh yeah, no, no. Oh no, that's the agenda. That defaults this the the cat to look for events. Here we go. I have the eighth August is the last one. It looks like August twenty twenty. That's weird. No, I can forward it to everyone if you want. I have it. I have it in my email right now. Oh, you have it? Okay. Yeah, I think. Well, yeah, yeah, you're right. It's kind of weird because I don't see. Um... I have it here. Okay. Uh, I can you guys see my screen right now? Yeah, we can see it. Okay. Good. I clicked off of it. Is that it? Yeah. We skipped February, correct? Yes. Yeah. We're in February. Oh yeah, yeah. See what I mean about time? <laughs> you just get February. <laughs> okay. Uh, John's rolling in now. Oh, great. <laughs> Excellent. So, um, so yeah. Da, da, da. It's a fair amount of minutes on this one. Yeah, you were, you were busy. That's impressive. Yeah. Oh, some detail on the um, solar bids. Yeah. John, you in? Hey, John. Hello. We're now at the point where we're just reviewing, we're, we're um, approving the minutes. Let me let me know when you want me to scroll up. I think you can scroll. Ooh. Yeah, you're. Hey, we did a lot of shit last time. We did. <laughs> we usually spoke a lot. We we said a lot of words. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, and there was a lot. I think maybe today will be will be a little bit more succinct. We will have a couple of things on the on the list. Um, yeah, you can continue scrolling. Okay. Can the chair move to accept the minutes? I th I think somebody else has to honestly. Sure, okay. I will. I'll, I'll move. I'll move to approve the minutes. Yeah, let let the conflicts approve the minutes. That's all right. <laughs> Second. Okay. All approved. Say aye. 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 Okay. The motion is accepted. <laughs> minutes passed. All right. Well done, everybody. Um, I think we we have we have no members of the public. So here we are, um, it's a five of us, which is, which is great. Um, again, two of <laughs> it we have um, on the calendar was to kind of uh, hopefully finish up the solar supplemental bidding process and, you know, and, and pick somebody to recommend the town to go ahead and, and um, you know, sign with. And then um, the second one is to just catch up real quick on some of the, the ESCO related activities that we've been up to in the past, the past month. Um, and is there any other business to should we should address? Um, we should put on the agenda, or is that does good? Just FYI, um, there, there's no members of the public, but this this meeting is not actually was not actually listed on the town calendar when I went to go find it just now. Oh, which is partly why I'm late. I had to go dig out their email. Oh, so um, that part's on Susanna. <laughs> 
It is the, it is the covert meeting now. We can say whatever we want. <laughs> we can pass all sorts of crazy stuff. Let's rename the town. Except it will be recorded on the website and everyone can see it afterwards. Right? Oh. So <laughs> yes, we, are, okay. we are being recorded right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Yes. You have um, Thank you, John. Yes. Yes. If you're not aware of the uh, Oakley, California school board uh, thought its meeting was private and started saying um, un inappropriate things about public comment and parents and all ended up resigning recently. So be aware. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we love our constituents. So there's no, 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 no harm of that um, happening. Um, I am. I raised a question about possible rebates from Energy Efficiency Maine for the um, for any um, uh, oh, heat pumps. Yeah, I noticed that, Richard. That was great that you did that because I had I had seen that there were some municipal incentives and. Um, yeah. I'm not. I, I, I sent a uh, email to Efficiency Maine asking him whether, since this is a, it's not clear to me whether or not the municipalities are are um, can apply, and also it's not clear to me whether or not. Um, it has to be new installations or can it be just replacement? Because the two that Perry talked about were both replacements of existing. Right. So I've got an email into them, uh, see what they say about those two issues. And the rebates aren't all that great on this, but anyways, there's something. So as soon as I get a response from them, I'll let you know what they say. Yeah, and I, I mean, that, that work is scheduled because it, it needs to be done. It's Those two particular heat pumps are bad. So, and any, Funded money would help. Okay. That was great. Yeah, thanks, Richard, for for um for flagging that. And um, yeah, we can. Maybe, mm, what? One of the things I'd need, Perry, uh, if they come back, is the capacity of them both. Okay, I can dig that up. Yeah, you don't you know don't go to any trouble right now. But if they come back and say that the uh, we can apply, then that's when I'd need it. So. Yep. You, you, um. It also may make a difference if you're moving from a unit that qualifies to from one that doesn't qualify because not all the heat pumps qualify. So even if it's a replacement, there might be a, a area in the middle where you're moving from a non-qualifying to a qualifying unit. Right. So, um, so you send in the capacity and the intended model number, the, the, what you're, what you're pulling out, what you're pu putting in. Yeah, I can get all that. Yeah. Cause I'm, they should be able to tell you if it fits under any of their programs if you do that. Okay. And that reminds me, I mean, it's, you know, for any sort of equipment upgrade or change, um, uh, maybe there already is, but, you know, we should, you know, put a, put a, a policy in place that, you know, that so someone goes, goes and looks at the efficiency main website, you know, and sees if there are, are incentive, um, incentives for, for upgrading. Yeah, maybe doing some a little bit, you know, Nicer than we would have otherwise. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe Perry, you've got some boxes that you check. I'm sure you go through. You're yeah. too diligent. Yeah, I also wanted to before I forget, and uh, this is jumping off topic a little bit, but I I recently started getting uh, notifications for efficiency main board meetings. Are you guys interested in getting copied on those, or do you get them already? I don't, I don't. Yeah, I get the I get get them because I signed up for them. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I just had one come across my. I hadn't seen it before, and all of a sudden, just this last month, it showed up on my email. Yeah, yeah, they're better. I think they're about every 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 month or so, and you know, their director talks about their progress, and you know, it's mostly mostly you know the budgetary okay. um, issues and that, and that sort of stuff. Um, so. Um, but I don't intend to attend them. Maybe it'd be useful to to for somebody to have their eyes open to those. But well, yeah, I don't I don't want to attend it if they're just going to talk about their budget. Right, right. Yeah, maybe that kind of reminds me. You know, I wonder if if in our network, um, our regional network, if, if there's somebody who actually does attend those and kind of keeps their their eyes and ears open for things that might help municipalities. Mm -hmm. um, something yeah. our G, our GP Cog dollars yeah. go towards. Do you think? It'd be, it'd be worth checking in with them on a periodic basis. Also, possibly, there's probably someone who runs their municipal program because it's probably slightly different than some of their other programs. 
I think mm -hmm. so. So that might be a, there might be a person within the organization that would be worth just checking in with on a periodic basis. Cause I mean, when they put those programs in place, the whole idea is to get as much uptake as possible that fits what they're trying to do. So. Um, yeah, I can try to find out who their municipal yeah. is. We, I, I have a good friend who works there. Um, yeah. So it, it actually might be him, but um, I'll find out if it's, <laughs> if it's someone else. <laughs> in, in, in which case, I mean, it's sort of you know, kind of a thing where you might have them come and just chat with us a couple times a year, just as part of as part yeah. of their job of doing their municipal, municipal outreach stuff. Yeah, that. we did have that one person from Efficiency Maine who came and talked to us about the um, right the electric vehicle incentives. So right. we could ask if someone could come talk to us about these incentives. Um, Yeah, that's great. Yeah, as long as we can, you know, fi fi find a, you know, a, a painless way to stay, stay on top of, of kind of what, what they're offering. Um, and you're right, John, they do have municipal programs, so you're right up our alley. They have these videos, which I haven't watched, about um, how, how, what other towns have done with their funding, that this was from the last, um, right. the, from the era funding. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I see. Wow, that was like 11 years ago, 12 years ago. Yeah, no, it, right? it, it, it says 2009? 2009 to 2013. Yeah. They had some grants then, um, but that's obviously a while ago now. <laughs> um, do you maybe the discussion about the heat pumps might be a good segue? We can actually you know jump jump over the solar thing for now, um, and talk about maybe is the the efficiency kind of work that the the town might be able to 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 take up. Um, are you okay with you know, with swapping these two agenda items? I I am because I'm planning to drop off when you get to the. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And John, Carrie said she needs to recuse herself for the, the, the solar the solar vote. Um, well, we're going to decide on. whether hey, but we're going to decide we're going to have Rex or not. Oh, you, you better get off then. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll tell you. Yeah, yeah, I can help you at all. I can help you with big things like that. I just concerned because at least one of the companies is a client of ours, and I think maybe others. And um, it's just better, I think, if I don't. All right. Yeah. You won't. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay um so yeah i know i think the last so I, I i had um after our last meeting made a couple of calls to some of the the local you know uh, energy service companies that are listed on the efficiency meeting website um made some made some calls and spoke with some folks and and some had already been involved uh with kate projects over the years and so um uh one of them uh, was it mechanical services harry is that the guy who came was it eric Eric McHugh, uh, I think. Uh, Eric, Eric is with Energy Management Consultants. Okay, so yeah, one of the two companies that I called. Um, and so, and, and Eric, Eric ended up, you know, you know, walking around some of the buildings with you, right? Is that right, Perry? Yeah, and actually, it was it was scheduled for last Monday, but due to a little bit of a COVID issue at our middle school and elementary, mm -hmm. that threw me a curveball. So we rescheduled it for this past Tuesday. And we did it on Tuesday of this week. Um, we, we walked uh, public works and we walked the fire station and we walked the police station uh, basically because those buildings get a lot of hours of operation. Um, mm -hmm. I, I, I did say to them that we're, we'll look at doing more buildings in the future but right now with COVID going on like town hall is a very minimal operation right now it's running nowhere near what it would be normally. Um, yeah. So, you know, we can come back to those later. Yep. And these three buildings are still running, you know, full, full power. And um, so, yes, I'm, I'm waiting for his report to come back to me. It may even be as soon as tomorrow. Um, what was his general impression walking around was? Oh, you know. well, we definitely have a lot of room for improvement. I mean, it's pu public works has a lot, a lot of fluorescent lighting and, uh, yeah, there, there's, there's a lot of improvement to be made on that end. I do have money in the budget for this upcoming year on the town to do a project um, at Public Works. So I, I believe that is getting pushed through. Um, so we'll see what come, kind of numbers they come back with. 
I, I'm a little, I'm a little frustrated because I was even telling my wife this when I was on my way home tonight, I was talking to her on the phone and I said, it's a little frustrating because, and we've talked about this before, but I have money in the budget um, to do a, a, a lighting project at public works. And I think, and I think Matt's approving it. And uh, so that's a, that's a plus, but that's probably going to burn up the only money I'm going to have available this year for projects. So it kind of leaves us you know, with empty pockets trying to tackle things they want us to tackle. And that's, that's frustrating for me. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I can push it on them. You know, I, I'll keep pushing Matt around and see what I can get out of him. Well, it's, you know, certainly it's a, you know, whatever, you know, projects are prioritized, you know, it's, that's, that's, you know, for you guys to figure out. Um, what, what, what scale of project are you talking about? Uh, right now, this is just lighting. No, but dollar figure wise. Oh, uh, I'd have to see what I submitted to them. Um, I'm just one significant figure is all I'm looking for. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking I like, I think it was like around 40,000 okay. that I gave them. Because if if there's more substantial work to do, to do actually, <clears throat> again, these are long term projects where you pay the money up front and your savings comes over time. Right. This is the perfect thing that you know. If you get up above where it makes sense to bond it out, you should. I actually think that is a very sensible way to do it because the payback period for these things is, you know, right. is is, is uh, several years, but all the costs come up front. Yeah, and that is an option as well. Yes, because um, that way you're 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 not. They should come out cash flow positive if you bond them out mm -hmm. every year. Yeah, I would agree. Which, with you. which would put money back in your budget is what I'm saying. Yeah. So, but forty thousand seems a little low for that. I I, I think it'll do public works, but I yeah. don't think it'll do all three. Right. No, no, no. What I'm, what I'm saying is if you've got enough that are going to be energy type projects where the investment comes up front, the savings come over time. I don't know what the minimum number to bond it out would be, but it would be sensible to me to package those up to say, let's do these. Let's float the bond because the savings will, the savings will pay for the bond payments over time. Right. And it, every your cash flow positive every year. Yep, and I and I think the project should grow past lighting as well. Um, right, all, right. All three of those buildings are are about the same age. They're all right. a little over twenty years old. Yep, and they're they're starting to show their age. But but I I think that would be that could be an attractive uh, piece that you could then you could link that with your public works with, if you're doing the fire station in the other building as well. And then if you get up to the number it's worth, you should ask Matt about what that is because, like I said. It, they're a great candidate for it because it's not like it's just infrastructure you've got to build and pay for it and you're spreading it over time. This actually has benefits that will pay for itself. Right. Now, is there, with a, with a bond, is there a minimum amount of time? I mean, is it like a 10 year minimum or something or? I, I, I don't know the ins and outs. Um, ask Matt, they've floated, the, you know, the, they kind of bundle them up together every year if they're going to do one and then, and you know, each okay. one. So I, I'm not sure the, of the minimums, uh, but we're, I think you're starting to get in the range because some of these municipal ones, are, they're still not that big. Yeah. I mean, you know. Yeah. I'll, I'll ask them. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, they're asking, and, and like I said, I think we talked about this back when we started the committee that, you know, they're asking us to do things that are going to require funding and, uh, Right, but but like I, I said, if if these are are efficiency projects that will actually pay for themselves, right? The way to finance that is is through a through a bond like this, because then it puts the money back in your budget, and you're 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 actually you know it's cash flow positive should be cash flow positive for the budget every year, even though you're showing the debt. It's it's like you're you know, this is going to generate X amount of savings every year. Well, that means the bond payment is less than that savings. Right. And so for the first, you know, for the first five years, you may break even. And then for the last five years, it's all, it's all savings. Yeah. Yep. So that's, that's my, that's my point. So. Okay. Well, um, could, could that Eric and gentlemen or somebody else um, 
kind of sum up all of these opportunities that we have. <laughs> yeah. Say, this is what it would cost to do everything. And then that would be the number that we might be able to look to. Right. He'll be providing us like the number that John's talking about. It'll show us, you know, X amount for cost, how much the savings, how long it'll take for that to be paid back. Yeah. That'll mm -hmm. all be broken out for us. Yeah. I, I'll send it to you as soon as I get it. Yeah. You know, I won't wait till the next meeting. You guys can have time to look over. Awesome. Sounds good. Yeah. That'd be, that'd be, that'd be exciting to see if we could do some stuff. And of course, um, I don't think we've heard anything from the school, you know, come, um, committee yet. Maybe John has Cynthia, you know, um, been giving you any clues as to, you know, what the timing is for the school. Um, I guess they have to, it's, it's, a, it's like a whole, it's like years from well, now. Isn't it? Let me just basically summarize a few other things are on fire over at the school department at the moment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm not sure this has a lot of mind share at the moment. <laughs> That's fair enough. We just want to stay stay vigilant. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, I hope everyone's safe over there. <laughs> the, uh, the the interviews that I was doing today was engineers and architects, but yeah, we're, we're we're not completed. We're, we still got yeah. another day, I think, of doing I, I, it. I thought the most the most important comment earlier on was basically to get a high level energy consultant involved early on in the process, which was our comment to the. School yeah. board and and I and as Perry's aware of that and so that's where that knowledge and uh, sort of request or in, input is going to fit in anyway. So that was the that was the core insight I think of what our involvement has been to date. And other than, than that, things are going to proceed along. I mean, as you as you probably know, they're replacing the super, the superintendent is retiring this year. Um, they're also replacing the high school principal. Um, so uh, they've got both personnel issues and uh, pandemic issues that are uh, front and center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I know it's a project that will be a big, a big project for sure. So, because um, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that at least we, you know, the concept of, you know, doing that that build right is, um, is still kind of you know front and center. Yeah, when the time comes to it. Um, awesome. Yeah. So Perry, yeah, let us know what, what that report comes back, and then. Yeah, and then maybe we can discuss next time, you know, what we do with that information, and you know, if 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 it makes sense to, to to bundle up, you know, that you know those you know all those projects into something and and bonds it out. I don't know. I don't know how that works at all. But Johnny, you may you have some ideas. Um, well, but I, 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 you know, it would be helpful as a committee to know anyway, <clears throat> just what the general yeah. parameters are for that, because I think mm -hmm. <clears throat> particularly for lots of energy saving projects, that is always the challenge and for most organ you know non-public organizations that actually is the challenge is can you get the financing to do it because again all the cost c comes up front and the savings come over time particularly in cases where there's no fuel involved so you're making fuel and and resource savings over time um but as a municipality it's, it's like you've got access to capital um and low cost capital and they're cash flow positive if you have financing, and it's just a question of of what's what are the appropriate size and time frames right. and payback periods. And so then once you know that, you can start thinking about well, how do I package this up to make it an attractive deal all the way around? Yeah, that's great. Uh, quite, I think what I was thinking about about all this and different projects and um, kind of town infrastructure sort of things and um, what's the latest. This is still relevant, so I'm not I'm not opening a whole new can of worms. I don't think, but what's the latest on the um, uh, streetlight project? Exactly my question. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. Yeah. As far as I know, that's fallen dead, but I can't say for sure that I haven't had my hand in that one from day one. That was uh, mm -hmm. I think that was a GP Cog thing, and they were going out with a group bid with other uh, towns surrounding us, and I don't know what happened. Okay. I, I think that went silent right around the time of COVID coming in. My, my recollection was that was a, a few year payback. Yeah. I, yeah. It, and I think we thought that was like the most attractive thing we could do. We were all set right. to 
go after it and then they were already doing it. So right. this just brings me back to that bonding conversation. Again, you package all that up. This is all energy savings that will pay for themselves if you finance it. Ella, Matt will know that. Okay. Because he was the one handling it. So I'll ask, ask him that as well. Awesome. But, but my, my point is for the bonding thing, it, it, if you can package those kinds of similar um, similar aspect projects together, it makes everything work. Right. You, you know, you might not float one for a $40,000 lighting project, but for a $40,000 lighting project and a couple hundred thousand dollar street lighting project and, a, you know, the building and fire retrofit for another 100K, now you bond that out with no problem. Would there be a, a, a um, uh, what's the word? I mean, people would be, be wanting to, you know, have, you know, if you're doing only one bond over the next 10 years, you know, put the school, the new school building in there. And I mean, obviously that would be the big one. So they, would they, it be they do one every detrimental year to have like a small one for us? Okay. They, they do one every, so it's every not, year or two. You don't, you don't I, I, I don't know what the pro, I don't know what the process is, but they, they do one every, every, every year or two. We, we oh, haven't okay. borrowed a lot, but there's a couple, you know, Mostly they let them just pay off for, I don't yeah. know why. Yeah. Okay. Got it. All right. Um, and just a quick, a quick question. Speaking of streetlights, I've, I've been wondering, does the, um, the recycling center, AKA dump, AKA trans transfer station, do that? Do there LED lights that are effect that are kind of like street lights in that facility? I, I could have sworn I saw some. There might be some on the buildings. We, but no, like street looking ones up there. I thought maybe there were. I don't think so. I'm just curious. Yeah, no, I don't yeah. think so. Hmm, okay. Yeah, they weren't the yellow ones. They look you guys go there more than I do. <laughs> 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 I don't have too many issues out there, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, okay, good. Well, yeah, thanks, Ray, for, for, for checking into those, those, those two things. Um, I, hate, I hate to add to your workload, but um, yeah. Just forward, forward, the, forward the Eric's thing off to us. Then, yeah, ask Matt about the streetlights, and we would love to be able, obviously, kind of you know, move on 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 those as kind of as opportunities arise. Yeah. So it it would be it would be really helpful to have um, sort of almost a, a a more of a working mandate from the, if the town wanted to do that to say if you can find projects that have a payback period of under X that aggregate to a size of Y. We want. We would do that, and we would bond it. Right. Yeah, we could. I mean, we because. Kinda, but before you came on board, John, we we kind of, I believe, tried to pin down Jamie Garvin on our actual abilities of the committee and what we can and cannot do, and what they're looking for us to do. And yeah, I don't think we ever went down the money, the uh, route of money, and how we finance the idea. Well, we're, we're a little different than like a like the planning committee. They they kind of oversee, like like what they do doesn't cost the town money. Right. You know. Well, <laughs> well, some things that we we might choose to do will just be expenses, but some many of the things we're looking at are again are long term savings, so which is a different animal entirely. And that's why I say that you know it. And if if they really don't have an appetite to do this, then let's not waste our time looking. But to me, it makes it makes perfect financial sense. Um, yep. No, I agree, hundred percent. But this is what you've been saying, John. And, um, you know, is that you know, it makes sense to kind of to, to, to sync up kind of the 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 you know policies that the town wants to try to you know pursue and what we're you know kind of tasked with. We're not tasked with. Uh, we're kind of like you know. Yeah, you know, we're just kind of rudderless right now. I mean, we have a general idea, we have a broad mandate, but you know, we're not really empowered, yeah, you know, to go out and really, you know, and pursue specific things. Um, so I think yeah, that policy kind of you know discussion I think is is useful to have. Um, so thanks for bringing that up again. Yeah. Um, okay, should we should we move on to the the solar discussion? If we're satisfied at the moment with our energy efficiency, um, I know that um, Richard, I've, you you graciously volunteered to crunch some of the the numbers for us and put kind of the information that we collected into a spreadsheet format. 
Um, did everybody have a chance? Have you received the uh, the notes that I've sent saying this is the package information that people have sent? Um, just kind of throwing out ideas because I sent a couple things out and haven't gotten any sort of reaction. So, so I don't know if it's maybe just like stuff that's like going into like junk or whatever, but nope, I, it's okay. I I got them. I briefly looked at them. Sort of, I sort of, you know, I didn't do a deep dive into them. I, I looked looked enough to sort of feel like, oh, it looks like we have a couple of decent bids here, and yeah. other than that, we can just talk through the the details. So that was that was. Yeah, but I yes, wasn't sure yes, if thank you. We're getting them. Yeah. Yeah. So I think this is where I might drop off. Bye. Uh, I, I thought you would. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Gary. We'll Good night. <laughs> do we have a quorum. I think we do. Yeah. Yeah, we do. Okay. By the skin of our teeth. <laughs> um, and I was, I was, I was especially, con you know, concerned about um, people not getting that because I know um, I, Richard, in particular, you know, was having problems, you know, getting a couple of my attachments. Um, and uh, so, anyway, I don't know, but I'm glad you finally got them to you, uh, Richard. And so, I, I don't know. I, I summarized some of that information and put it on a PDF file, and so no. We kind of was late today, so I don't know if you had a chance to see it. But it's kind of no, I, I did. Yeah, you put it out, buddy. I'm going to look for it. You're doing that work. I'm going to look it up right now. Can you, can you share? Do you have it on your um, on your screen, Richard? I've got it up now. Should be all set. <clears throat> when you share a screen or you just want to look at what you copies you got. Share your screen, that would probably be easy. I can't I'm not finding it. I see it. Good. Yep. Wow. Thanks, Richard. This is really helpful. Does it corroborate our gut? We'll see. Oh, I did put. I did actually put put some of the stuff in um, a spreadsheet too. I don't know if that if you if you saw that or not. Maybe these, you built just on that. Didn't come. Uh, oh, dang. Okay. I worked on that. <laughs> so this is probably better in any event. So, anyways, I just broke it down to um, the five that, that I have. There is one that's um, uh, which one was it that I didn't have because I in the file I had was oh, blue, 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 wave. blue wave is the one blue I didn't wave. send to you because there was there was no real uh, when when. Um, Sam and I were looking at it. We said, well, "What are they offering?" It was like nothing was there. It was like, you know, <laughs> so yeah. And we talked to them, and to tell you the truth, the problem with with Blue Wave is there was nothing special about their offer. They were offering a stand. They said uh, orally offering fifteen percent. Plus, their problem was they they weren't delivering power for another you know for uh, way past everybody else into two thousand and twenty two. So um, we felt that, you know, okay, it, it, there's nothing, there's no, there's no, uh, that was orally. So I, we figured they were on the bottom of the barrel anyway at this point. Yeah, it was, it wasn't as bad as Yeah. yeah. And, and they, knew it, they knew it once we quizzed them a little bit too. They realized that they were, yeah. They basically, none of them had a whole lot of detail when it came to termination clause or anything like that. They all said, yeah. You know, if we if we're in the final group or if we're the finalists, then we'll tell you what we're going to do. So let me give you some insight with that. Okay, I've been struggling with that on the. I've been going from being a solar farm um, developer and having the farms in, and now struggling with some of the contracts that are out there, which is based a lot of its termination. People have a lot of angst over that, but um, most of the standard. Um, uh, what happens is when you have a small commercial, basically it's kind of mandated that you can have a 30-day um, uh, a, a, a notice termination. But 
once you get into the medium and large, uh, almost universally, uh, and it's been encouraged by MPUC, that you have a 10-year termination. Um, so that being said, th that's where people are going with this thing. It's almost universal at this point. Um, the other one that was different than that was uh, Borrego, which they came yeah. back and said nine-month notice, no penalties. Yeah, uh, th that's that's actually quite interesting uh, that they would do that. Um, uh, so that was their plus, no question about it. But remember, remember one thing, guys, and, and, and this is this is uh, I want to make this point because I've made this point to some customers before, um, and, and you and of course this is definitely a, a, a positive. Okay, um, most in most in every state that I've been in the percentages tend to go down, not up, in terms of discounts for, for newer projects as it goes along. Because basically they fill them up and the, demand, and the demand becomes higher. Typically, even under these circumstances where we have this first wave, there's gonna be a lot more demand than supply at the end of the day. So number one. Number two is, unlike the two, and this is something with Perry I can, I can talk to you about, Unlike the direct energy, next era, um, constellation, three year to five year uh, contracts, those contracts are usually set contracts, which means that, especially in a state like this, where you went from one price one year, went two cents higher another year, then back down again, you cut caught in that second year, you've got a three to five year contract at the higher price. But what happens here is, remember, this is a discount off the present rates. So really, there's no real risk involved. In fact, the, but the spin I use for customers is the longer the contract, the better. Because basically, you're taking no risk on, uh, on possibly being out of the running in terms of having you know, the, the, anything going against you. You're totally hedged here. So no matter I mean, what- Some of them are fixed uh, prices though, right? Well, like half and next amp are fixed, well, that, and also so. Um, so the, right. they'll offer that. The, the 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 issue is so when we're yeah. building our own solar field, right? And we're 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 on the hook eventually for sort of funding that project. Yeah. That makes sense to have a fixed rate because again, we're only going to raise money and do that piece of the thing, you know, one time. We would mm -hmm. like to have it known. For for the for the supplement, I think it pairs really nicely with just a floating discount rate. Good point, John. And the other thing is that we we picked a rate pretty low enough, so we had a lot of cushion on the fixed rate. So uh, mm -hmm. that that was good for us. And and yeah. So uh, but I want to I just want to make the comparison, John, and 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 uh, uh, about how um, we we really don't have a lot of risk in this kind of a process when you're talking about the discount side versus where you might have a fixed contract with, a, with some of the uh, third party providers. So our, our, our risk here is basically um, in the, you know, saving so much electricity in the future that we're not gonna use up what we purchased at a discount. That is true. So that, is that, true. that's the risk that I see. But right. again, if you're bringing in electrification of vehicles, it's sort of like, how do you bridge that time period in between, because I think in general, you're trying to switch out heating costs for heat pump and, and gas costs for electric vehicle. Long run, I think your energy usage is going to go up, but that may not be true in five years. It'll be true in 10. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. So, there may be some more electric vehicles coming online. And, you know, yeah. like I can imagine, you know, every couple of years getting one or two. You know, but as it, it, you know, when you're looking at energy saving projects that are going into these buildings, those are the energy saving projects that are going to cut your electricity usage. I mean, that's part of the whole reason you do it. And so yeah. we're, you know, you're trying to save on both ends, both the supply and the, and the usage. So that's the, that's the only piece I think we need to manage. Um, and um, it is really uh, how much do we want to commit to in terms of amount? Yeah. So do we want to, are we saying that we, we want to just focus on the, the offers that are just a percent discount rate? I, I, think that's, I think that's easiest, actually, because then the termination becomes much less important. The termination really has to do with around adjusting to not getting out of the entire contract, but adjusting around what your usage is going to, profile is going to change, which is a lot less risk for 
you know, if I need to sell out of 20, you know, 10 or 20% of my position, f- you know, for the developer, that's a lot more manageable than just saying, forget it, I'm out. You know, and, and, you know, they've got to, they've got to cover, they've got to get through their seven year federal tax credits and other th- other financing partnership flips without any kerfuffle. And after that, it's, it's can, can, really can you, okay, hey, John, can you use that word again, please? What is that word? Kerfuffle. What the heck does that mean? <laughs> Us. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's, Never uh, heard kerfuffle. <laughs> no, it's one of those Scottish travel words I don't know about. Yeah, I like that, though. Good word. Very good word. I, I think it's a W.C. Fields word. <laughs> is that what it is? Okay. <laughs> it, it might be. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help that. <laughs> but... Um, well, then what that says is that if, if with since Borrego at this point has a easier opt out clause, then we could probably contract for something closer to our limit and possibly some of the others if they turn out to have a more penalties. That's a good point. What, what, what I would do is I would go to the, what the, the companies I, I like their offer the best and say, look, I'm getting this from this kind of termination from, from another provider. I'd, I'd rather go with you. Can you match the, what can you do on your termination terms? Uh, I've already tried that. I, um, yeah. yeah. If they're very, very, people are pretty stubborn about that. Uh, pretty, pretty set in stone. I'm very surprised. At except except yeah. we, ha- we, ha- they haven't told us what it is yet. Yeah. <laughs> So it's like, yeah. I'm saying, if they haven't put it down, I'm saying, this is what I got in a, in, on paper from somebody else. So there's my opening offer. What can you do? Right, right, so right. It's, you know, it would be different if they said, you know, they'd already put in there 10 years. It'd be different, but they didn't. Right, right. They, they left it empty. Well, yeah, revision, says right. that, revi- revision mentioned that they've got a notification period required. So they implied that, that they could, they had a, you could withdraw, but they didn't, they didn't specify anything. And yeah, the notification period, um, one year with ten years. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> so on that basis, I mean, if you just look at the ones that have got the, the highest uh, discount, I assume yeah. we're going to stick without Rex. Then that comes to you know the Encore, Nexamp, and. Mm-hmm. Well, Borrego and um, Revision are the same, mm-hmm. but HEP is, didn't offer any any uh, any um, discount at all. They were just uh, fixed price. Right, right. So that would take them out of the running. And you know, um, Encore again. I mean, they're they're so much higher than anybody else. I mean, they're you know, you know, there is there's six to. Th- um, yeah, the, 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 yeah for, for the price wise, they've always come in at a very good price. They're very aggressive. Um, mm-hmm. One of the reasons also is the cost of doing business is less. They got into this horse race real early and really mm-hmm. got some really great interconnection costs that, you know, in the difference can be basically, as you can see with CMP, it can be millions of dollars, but, but, uh, but uh, basically, it can be certainly hundreds of thousands of dollars difference in, in terms of their building their product. Uh, they kind of, you know, they like the horse, they like the, the um, which is another reason to, to go do business with them. They'll be one of the early ones out there. They did three Lewiston projects before anybody even looked. And, and that was, and, and they got way ahead of everybody in the curve. So that, that makes a big difference when it comes to this. As far as the time, time maybe- Encore also had probably the, you know, Encore and Revision probably had the best, uh, best timing. Nexam says they, uh, it's not too bad either. Do, I, do we know, I've got the sites on here. Do we know if any of these sites are going to be affected by this interconnection uh, yeah, issue are. that's Most come up with are. CMP? Most of them are. Yeah, yeah. The, um, uh, the, the, um, the, the early guys like Encore, we can ask that question, but they think that they're through with their sites. Um, most of the people who have participated and were still in the interconnection queue were affected by it. it's 110 substations. It's, a, it's pretty much the majority of substations. Okay, so yeah, a lot of the, most of these guys have been affected by it. Now, we get these, we get these bids before or after CMP. Before. We got it before. 
Adam, before? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. And I think what the, the, the way to do this really is to um, take the bid we want and then go back to them and, and ask them what their situation is. It's sort of like that's their shortlist question, right? Or their, their buying question. So we can find out pretty fast. They'll, they'll, they'll have to tell me that information, tell us that information. Yeah, does it make sense to have like a short list? I mean, I well, guess- Well, it's pretty short as it is, but okay. What about, yeah. I, if, from a price point of view, what would we say, and from the early entry, I would say maybe um, it would be, uh, I look at Encore and Revision very strongly. And as you say, Charles, the, the revision is one of those companies that came in early also to, get, to clear the track before other people got on board. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, I'm wondering, because I'm looking at wrong, uh, revision and Encore, and um, yeah, there's a 12% difference between the two in terms of the discount off, off tariff. Right. Um, I wonder, practically speaking, you know, what that means in terms of dollars for, for us. It's a few. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it probably adds up. I haven't done the math, but. Um, well, what, how many kilowatt hours do we have left over? What's 600 kilowatts? Well, we're going 600,000, right. Yeah, yeah. So, it, so you just multiply that times the. Uh, right, well, times 12, yeah. Uh, yeah 12 based, as well, percentage. Based on today's rates, yeah. Based on today's rates, right. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. No, it's significant. I, no, Encore's pricing is is about as attractive as I've seen in this state consistently. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, and they and because of that, there's no accident why they have they have won a, a, a lion's share of the bids for the big companies around here, Dis yeah. municipal districts, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you know, they have been very aggressive. Uh, and doing there, and they've always been that way. I've known them for years. Mm -hmm. Because it, mm -hmm. when I'm looking at it, it looks like Next Amp and, um, uh, sorry, um, Encore and Next Amp seems like they've got the, the, it'd be worth flushing out. What are your, what are your termination? Yeah. This is like 32 and 22 and a half, and they're both coming online in Q4. Yeah. 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 Okay, that's that's a, that's fair. I think so. That's a fair assessment. I, I mean, you know, my fear before this thing started was that um, we would we would be we would be behind the eight ball in terms of getting anybody getting these farms to us in time. But what's happened here? Everybody is just sitting on on their hands right now. There's been meetings every week between us the developers and CMP and the MPC and some of these meetings have been very heated. You can just oh, imagine. Sure. Um, so, uh, you know, a, a guy, uh, one of the developers the other day called me up and said, did you know what that happened to me? What? I have a two megawatt project. They just sent me a bill for $12 million for upgrades. <laughs> well, I guess I should be doing that project. But, you know, but that's 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 the joke. This thing has become it's become a real joke, really. I'm not a very serious joke, but they, they yeah. really, yeah, yeah. But, but honestly, as bad a shape as the grid may be in, it's not Texas, okay? Yeah. Uh, you can well, handle winter right here. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I'm, I, I think to a certain point, um, what's happened here is, and what I don't understand, John is in this whole uh, scheme of things, you know the developers, because of what they're doing, are actually upgrading the grid by spending all this money in the first place, right? Well, uh, it, which should have been spent anyway. It, so, well, it, it, it's it, part of the it, argument that we're using. You should be at some of these hearings because that's part of the fuss. We're saying to these guys, you know, we spend the money to upgrade your system to put our product on there because you're supposed to be charging us for those upgrades. In the meantime, you're we're modernizing your system and we're, we're making it more reliable. Okay. <clears throat> some, somewhat yes and not entirely. Although in, in some cases, it's actually a sub significant upgrade, not only to 
the equipment that's put in, but where you put the loads on. For example, I know the Cape Elizabeth um, site where we were tying in, I was not surprised to not see it on the, on the list because it's on the same line where they have auxiliary generation because it's at the end of a long string. So any load you're adding in there that's offsetting, you're offsetting, you know, diesel gen backup. Well, the problem, well, that's, that's a good analysis I, it, to a point. The, the reason why we weren't affected, and it wasn't because obviously individually our system is, is sound because we have nobody on there basically, but it's, it would be the whole Portland area. And that's, that's what they take in these, these cluster studies that they're yep, doing. Yep. They went from individual studies to cluster studies. And so, for instance, I had, I had two projects in the capital, I call capital this in Gust area, right? Um, and both of them are affected because, not because of my projects, but because of, of the four or five uh, projects that are on two or three different substations that right up in the capital street, okay? And that affected the whole system. Okay, so so those things are, are not analyzed so simply. Uh, it, it, we when they first did the analysis, which is part of the criticism, is that's how they ana analyze in the first right. place, quite yeah. simply. Yeah. Yeah. That that's just for the tie-in. That's not the secondary effect of what it what it, of the yeah, benefit of adding right. yeah. of adding the generation. Actually, absolutely. That's so that's just the first. That's just the first order effect, not the second order effect, because the second order effect is all positive because that's where they need. It. They want to take load yeah. off that stressed line. That's why they yeah. have backup generation on the line. Yep. Yep. So anyway, back to back to what we're talking about. The point. The point is the only point I'm trying to make, John, and, and is that there's a big the shitstorm is even shittier than you think it is at this time. But if you get into some of these these little debates that are going on here. Um, and it, uh, so I wouldn't blame these guys if we had some delays, but if we're gonna, if we're gonna look at people who are actually coming in early, the chances are they're not gonna be impacted. But so let's figure that out as one of our questions. And well, the we've, got the th we've got the three, Revision, yeah. Revision Encore and Next Amp, they're the earliest. Yep. Uh, Borrego, even though they've got Possibly some good termination costs. They're not. They're talking. I think it's September 2022. Yeah. Yeah. Nine months later. Yeah. 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 And that that may not do us any. In fact, it's it's possible. Um, uh, yeah, we might even beat them to that. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Very good point. So you know, we could go back to these three and say, give it. You know, we're going to be, you know, we're looking for just a discount race. Give us your best offer mm -hmm. and give us a, some definition of that term and termination. And, and update your uh, timing. Yeah, advise on the project timing. Yep. Yeah. Right. Yeah, because I can imagine let's that. Put that out, let's put that out in a, in, a, in, a, in a follow up letter. I don't want to keep calling these guys and getting answers that are off, to, off top of somebody's head, okay? No, it sounds, yeah, I, I agree. So let's have, um, you know, I mean, I've been the point of contact for these, which is, which is fine. Um, so we'll just kind of ask for a revision on core and next amp again for uh, maybe going up to, you know, an updated um, bid or I guess our best and final. I mean, they, they, they may take this opportunity to, to back out, who knows, you know, given all the, the chaos. Well, we got you know, three, so. CMP. Yeah, right, exactly. I can um, tell you that revision won't back out. <laughs> will not back out? No, I agree. Back out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're gonna have the, well, you're gonna have the self serving letter by saying, you know, we're really good guys. You know, we, we don't, just because we don't have the best price, you know, we still should take the order. You know, I, I think the other, the other thing is, is Charlie's, Charlie's, that we should give it to revision so we don't have to listen to them afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we'll give them we'll give them a chance to sharpen their sharpen their um, uh, their bid and clarify the termination a little bit too. So okay, so you want to do that best, as well. best and final loading discount rate right. um, without the wrecks, and you know what's the, what's their firm termination you know clause. Clause and term, yeah. And do we still want six hundred? Um, I know we would maybe hedge our bets. We could maybe do five hundred. 
Uh, uh, Sam, we, Sam let, me, let me just interrupt you on that one. Sam, what we should do is make sure that they look at our, our bills, our supplements, get, get figures. They should be coming back to us with suggestions, okay? So um, if they say at 90% you're at this, fine. At 85% you're at this. They suggest, everybody right now is suggesting 85% but we may be a 90% because of, of add-ons. Okay, so uh, even though we make the judgment, let them, them, let them do the baseline for us, all right? Come back with suggestions. And then our final decision will probably depend upon what their termination clause is. If they've got a very attractive termination clause, we'll go higher. All right, good point. Great. So just, yeah, just so I understand, uh, in, in terms of the the quantity, you know, kilowatt hours per year, um, let them choose based on on what Sam. Give we them... pro we provided them the inf our info, right? Yeah, six hundred. So it's what we just told them. Yeah. Hey, you by know, the so way, I just that. can I just interrupt you for something? I just thought of something. Uh, it takes me a while to think of things. I'm too old, but there is. Mm -hmm. What about the possibility, you know, kind of attacking the pro problem as opposed to uh, running away from it? The idea is not to terminate. If we, uh, our one risk we agree is to go, we're going to go over where we lose our credits, right? And, and we have to pay too much for electricity. Attacking yeah. the problem is what the alternative would be would they reduce the amount of um, credits to us? instead of eliminating completely if we didn't, if we didn't go instead of us going over them. So there would be an automatic roof and, 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 and floor. Right, way, right. They don't have to, from their point of view, they, then first of all, they're not going to, it wouldn't be more than another 10% either one, one way or another. They wouldn't have to, uh, the contract wouldn't have to be canceled and they would still get the majority of their, their funds because obviously we're not going to be down to 50 or 40%. Might, we might lose another five or 10% if that's possible, you know? So, so I, I, I think the thing to do, Sam, possibly, I think in terms of sequence is get the termination clauses in writing. And then if, if you know, as we work through what the termination clauses are, our, part of our ability to accept a uh, more difficult termination clause is to come back with them and say, as long as we can reduce our, 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 our you know, hours by, you know, 10 or 15%, we're fine with that termination clause. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's just, a, it's just part of the give and take, but we got to get them written down in terms of what the termination clause is. So if it's, if it's challenging, as long as we can adjust it and right. downward, so we're not over, um, that we we could probably live with a, a a sterner one, but I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily lead with that. I, I would let, get them on the record with what what they're going to offer to start. Do we need to in order to make sure we're comparing apples to apples? Do we need to initially specify the same amount of electricity to all vendors? Because if we if we vary that, is that going to would their mm -hmm. offer somewhat depend yeah, upon what, what quantity we're spending we're going to purchase? I guess you know to to a point. I, I don't think it's it's not going to be a big difference. In other words, uh, if we're going to, if, if we've got bills that say we have 600 kilowatts left, that's what we have, right? And if one quote says a 575 or six, it's not going to make any difference in, in the cost or are there, are there quotes? I think they it's not like we're, we're making a big difference there. But uh, yeah, I mean, uniformity is good, right? <laughs> Under any circumstance. Yeah I, yeah, I don't think we're going to get too much. I don't think it'd be much different pricing on 500 versus 600. Yeah, I would just specify six hundred for all of them for this go round. Fine, fine, and, and and then they can they can attack it later with their expertise. That's fine, because we, we that's that's what they're there for. Good. So Sam, that you got what you're going to do? You're yeah, right got it. Go back to wrong, uh, wrong revision, encore, and next and okay. um, yeah, okay. asking for the for basically best and final rate. If timing has been affected by any updated timing, and uh, to clarify the termination, you know, clause. Um, yeah, and give them, you know, a couple of weeks to get that to us. Maybe it shouldn't take more longer than that. Um, and then, then with that, hopefully we'll have our winner. And the will be happy because at least they made it to the second round this time. 
Yeah. <laughs> they'll, yeah. they'll be real happy. <laughs> <laughs> stop stop becoming the Oakley school board. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I yeah. I would be happy with any of these guys for sure. As long as long as the price is, is price is good. Um I mean at the end of the day we, we you know you know our mandate is to make recommendations to yep. the town right, based on our objective findings. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. Um, yeah. We can't control what the bids we're, are. We're like, we're like the, the baseball coach with all, all the parents, you know, the, 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 the kitty, the, um, uh, you know, when, you, when you're in grammar school and the kids, kids you're coaching your kid's team, whether it's baseball or soccer, and, and the parents are ripping you apart because of something you did or you didn't put their kid in. And you turn to the parents and say, you know, I'm not getting paid for doing this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we we need the equivalent of the Mike so, uh, of the um, Mike Matheny letter to parents. Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever see that? It's, it's worth looking at. So Mike Matheny, uh, former catcher and and major league baseball manager, taught little league for a while. He coached little league, and he wrote the parents all a letter and basically told them how to behave. <laughs> It was a great letter. It basically basically said, <laughs> it told 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 them he, he didn't want to hear from them. All I wanted was 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 their you know their support. It was all and, oranges for every game, right? <laughs> no, just it, it it was really worth reading. Sure. So sure, I'm sure it was as a former coach. I, I'm sure I didn't get a kick out of that one. Uh, I've been ripped many times. Anyway, um, good. We're good. Sam, I was wondering, did their offers include uh, like this price is good for X amount of time? I, I remember there was there was a reference to revision. I think had like a ninety day. Kind of, okay. This good as offer for ninety days, kind of okay. thing. But yeah, because I was just you know, from the the time between when we when you guys pick one and the time that the council actually gets to sign off on it, I just you know we'll have to make sure that that number still stays firm. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. yeah, we'll have them. We'll have them update. Maybe that's a question too. You know, how how long is how long is this? You know, is it your 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 bid good for? Yeah. How long do you think we should tell them, Barry? How long they? I mean, I, I think we're going to have to at least go through a monthly cycle of meetings, unless we could, unless we could get the town convinced to go into a, a special meeting for this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, well, know, I remember uh, asking talking to the myth Matt about it. He didn't think. Well, know, maybe this maybe. Um, uh, who knows? But my my impression was that this is the sort of thing that this guy is just routine purchase, you know, that the town does, and that doesn't require, you know, a committee, you know, a town council vote on it. And, and that could be the case too, you know. I'll, I'll, I, I can impression. ask him that when I ask him the other questions. Okay, well, that's a good point. Yeah. I mean, all oh, that's yeah. a good point. We can't skip over those details. No, yeah, for sure. Um, good. All right. Um, are we satisfied at the moment with, with where we are on this? Is there anything else on the, the solar piece? Um, I don't, I don't know if any of you have any updates on where the, the landfill project is, is at the moment. Um, but I'm assuming that things are just kind of moving along. Thank God that the sub, the substation that we have is not, you know, affected by the CMP, you know, kerfuffle. You know, Sam, you made a point that I would like to, to make to Encore, and um, I do get a chance to talk to them from time to time. Um, we should have at least a, a periodic report from them, mm -hmm. at least a 10-minute a call every couple of weeks, every month, whatever we think is appropriate, mm -hmm. because I think that's a question that we want to know and I should I wouldn't think I would think that uh, the council would want to know that too mm -hmm. so I think it's a good point yeah. right there that the asking them should be more you know it doesn't be it, it's yeah a fairly formal basis you, you call us every so often or every month at a certain time and, and, and give us a, a, a brief report as to where you are Yeah, sounds like a great a great suggestion. I would be happy to. I, I would love that. Is that um, something we 
yeah, and, you know, should we make, do you want to make a motion to recommend that to to uh, Encore to you know sit in on one of these calls or on our maybe our, our monthly you know they have like a ten minute you know we have um yeah. moment on our calls for the next you know twelve months. Yeah. How does the town typically uh, manage projects like this? This this one's new to me. <laughs> Because uh, this one, this one's out of my hands. Mm -hmm. I don't have direct contact with it, so I don't know if it's put uh, to the town engineer or yeah, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, probably, it probably passed through different hands, right? I mean, I imagine you know Matt had it you know for a while as he was doing like the contracting, um, but yeah, now it's probably onto you know a different a different you know set of hands in the town, so. Um, I would think that the person that's managing the project for the town would be getting up periodic updates. Yeah, yeah you, you almost can't make that. I mean, I've seen these guys not give anybody updates. Uh, and, and what happens <laughs> is, you know, if you were, if you were a, um, a, an investor and you were involved uh, in some way, or are you going to buy it later on? You would ask that, but I be sometimes it's out of sight, out of mind. You know, they're mm -hmm. because there's no money going out the door besides the lawyer's fees. You know, they don't. Yeah. So, so they may just think, okay, you know, and nobody's in charge of it up there. So, so or is there Perry? Is there somebody actually that's dedicated in charge of of of, of looking at this thing? Well, uh, the town uses uh, Sebago Technics. As their engineer, and that—that's who I would assume is handling the project. Okay, well, Sebago Tech. I use Sebago Tech to do wetlands delineations. Let's say for some of my projects. Mm -hmm. But but Sebago isn't. See, here's another thing. Let's. It, it almost. It was almost like a little bad experience. We're we're walking around with the with the guys and, and showing them the developers and showing them the, the land site, and then. The gentleman who was was the head of the um, the uh, transfer station, you know, wasn't really happy with us. Okay, uh, you know what I mean, uh, Perry. So all of a sudden, these guys may show up and start building. Okay, <laughs> while they start poking around. Okay, is there any kind of um, uh, it, you know, uh, any kind of warnings that get done? Is there any kind of thing set up where they have to give anybody any notice at some point? I know in contract they're they're allowed to go up there, but um, you know, somebody who should know who's going up there and when, because all of a sudden they may show up and nobody knows, and people are calling around saying, "Who are these guys?" Right? So again, it, it, there, it, it, I was I'm afraid that might be an invisible situation right now, where they they're going along getting their permitting set up and nobody really knows what they're doing. That's my, that's my fear. Well, yeah. it, it makes sense to sort of check in on all this logistic stuff, basically because they, they don't want it to blow up either. They just don't, they just haven't set it up to, to check in. Yeah. Harry, I had to ask you if you want to, add that to your list of things to talk to Matt. <laughs> um, I'm writing them down here as we go. Okay, great. Yeah, I just, yeah, you know, is there, is there a point person in the town for this? Yeah, um, I'm going to give him a, a bulleted list of a few things, so. Yeah, and if not, if not, we would love to be able to, I mean, I don't know if we want to volunteer collectively to be the point person um, yeah. once a month, you know. It, with, it we, sounds we, like we're they, looking they, almost like a clerk of the works type of thing. You know. Yeah, I don't I'm that, sure. That I have faith in the town that they're handling this, but yes, we should ask and we should know. Yeah, that's that's all we yeah. want. That's right, exactly. I'm hoping they are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it's not like it's not like we it's not like we're getting paid for doing this, right? Uh, anyway, mm -hmm. uh, you know, that's that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, that works for me. Um, okay. Richard? We done this? Oh yeah, I think so. Yeah, thank you so much for for that. Yeah, I like your your handiwork. Yes, sir. Um, good. Kind of so that I think. 
yeah, that'd be great if you could if you could just um, yeah um, yeah copy and kind of send that I guess yeah send that back to us. Um, that is funny. There's a um, I, do do you well, do we want to put that on some uh, in the archive of our meetings? Um, is that useful or helpful to have that as like a like a, a formal uh, record? Yeah. yeah. So either that or you can append it to the minutes for the next meeting. Yeah, I can do that as well. It's just easy to do. Then it's then there's a record of it. So because yeah. we didn't publish it before, it was brought forward at the meeting. Just append it to the minutes. Is like this was discussed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, those are our two agenda items. So any any other items before the committee do you, that, that we should discuss? No. Just further, just further off stuff. I'm still sort of mulling over um, climate action plan and sort of energy committee mm -hmm. sort of spot and some of that stuff. And um, but you know, kind of waiting for things to settle down a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. But I, 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 do think it's it's it is worth thinking a little bit as partly as you know we're we're coming into budget cycle and this is this is part of the things that are on the town council's goal set and um in, mm -hmm. and just. So understanding what role we're going to play in that, because uh, I, I think we can provide a very constructive role. Um, mm -hmm. It's beyond our current mandate. It sort of overlaps with, you know, the recycling committee and other functions that don't have committees currently. Um, yeah. Yeah, that that that's, that 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 makes that makes sense. Um, and uh, yeah, again, that kind of get, gets to you know how do we kind of you know sync up okay, what we're trying to do with when you know what the, the town's kind of overall schedule is. So the, things. The, the way I would describe it is, we should have a discussion sometime or get direction from the town council in terms of what role they would like the energy committee to play as in the their pursuit of their um, climate goals that they've set for themselves. Mm -hmm. You know, if any, because there's there's fairly significant, and and they they've they've got a couple of you know, and they're they're thinking they were thinking at a relatively big level, high level of as I was sort of listening to them go through their goals, and it's worth looking through the the goals that were published by the way that from the town went through. I thought they're they're in a new format there. I thought they were quite um, helpful in terms of the way they're laid out, um, but understanding what what that what that means for the energy committee's role. Um, is something that I um, will want to we want to flesh out. Yeah, John, I'm so curious. So, so the town has been uh, talking publicly about their climate action commitments. So they is part their annual goal setting. As I was attended the town council meeting where they talked about their annual goal setting, and they laid out their town their goals. Um. And part of those goals had had to do around you know climate action stuff. Oh, cool! That's great. When was that a recent meeting? I'm just curious. I'd love yes, to look at that. Yes, it was. It was. It was heading in before budget cycle. So it was. Um. Uh. Yeah, I can. Um. No, we. Yeah, no, we deal with. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I should. Not, I should just. To, I'll, to, just to, I'll just send that yeah. around to the committee. So, let me go yeah, find that and I'll send that around. But um, yeah, exactly. I know when we were talking. Because uh, we had that climate at Cape, Cape Lewis with climate action kind of discussion, and um, Jamie was on it, as was one of the other councilmen, mm -hmm. um, Jeremy Gabrielson, yep. um, and they were talking about you know how they want to you know harmonize kind of you know or at least like empower committees cars to actually kind of you know to to execute you know on things that aligned with you know with with their their overall goals, um, you know on. On, on climate action so um yeah I would, you know if they, if they if they if they've begun if they have goals eventually i think this will be coming perhaps so they um, they, they published but, them they're actually going to workshop them again soon i think i trying to remember mm -hmm. um that's cool so Hold on. Okay, so just a second. Um, 
yeah, let me, um, I'm not sure if the, 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 I'm, lo I'm looking at one right now. I think it's not the most recent one. So they, they updated it more recently than that. So, um, oh, there it is. So let me go back to Zoom for a second. Okay. Hold on a second. So I just put the the link to the goals in the in the chat. Thank you, John. Yeah, I mean, we, we, regardless, you know, we should be um, basically our our mandate, you know, should be support the town in pursuit of these goals and, and objectives. Um, theoretically, that should be our that should be the only, the only entire reason we exist, right? Because they have these goals, and so, you know, interesting energy energy use, um, you know, and then town is like you know knocks off a number of these in infrastructure. I wish to where I see the climate change goals. Oh, cool. Yep. Oh, it's okay, so a right middle of us. Seek to reduce energy consumption for all buildings, complete solar project, recycling facility, um, and complete LED lamp, street lamp, street lamp installation, and also transportation. Interesting. Yeah. You know, so, thanks for mentioning this. So, again, not, not, you know, and they're, they're working this, they want to get this out because that, again, relates to what their whole budget process, um, mm -hmm. which, it, which it should, which is, it's, it's an actually a nice way that they're doing it this year. I, I really mm -hmm. like the, the, the format. And I think they're going through one more workshop to put some teeth to each of the goals and make sure everyone understands this is what this goal means. Um, and so, um, but, you know, in, in conjunction with that, I, I feel like that's the input we need from the and energy committee on ones with overlap with, with us to, to mm -hmm. make sure that, it, you know, our, man, our mandate is updated to fit with what they want it to be in respect of these goals. And if they're yeah. broader or narrower, that's all, that's fine. But it, 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 this is what it's, you know, uh, in service of. Yeah. Do, do we, um, should we as a committee be engaging the town during this process? Um, as they develop these these goals, I mean, is it is it would it be worthwhile for us to like formally um, submit some sort of feedback? I I think we we might want to raise our hand up to just say as you go through these, the ones that affect us, we're happy to 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 weigh you know weigh in and mm -hmm. let you you know give you give give input if you'd like. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, they're they're a pretty high level. Yeah, but but I, but I, I you know, it, it is worthwhile. I you know, I, if I if I were in their shoes, I, w I think it would be helpful to do at least a sanity check with people that I thought were more subject matter experts around those goals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yes. Well, G Jamie, well, in the in the, um, the the discussion we had on the climate action kind of uh, you yeah, know group. Um, he very explicitly said he wanted to, you know, get the energy, energy committee's work, you know, to be directly supporting them. Um, right. So, well, I think, I I said, the, 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 the climate stuff is a little broader than energy. And so that's why yeah. I just want to be clear about, you know, like I said, I think it kind of overlaps with recycling and it overlaps with energy. And then it, there's a piece of it that's not covered by anybody. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Technically, yeah, there's, a this. Yeah, there's a piece that sort of fits probably with harbors. <laughs> mm -hmm, right. But um, anyway, cool. they're likely going to want to have somebody help drive the, the climate action plan part of their goal se setting piece. And mm -hmm. if, if the energy committee has strong views on whether that, yes, that's the, us, we'd be happy to do it, or no, you know, that's really beyond what we want to do. We we have to say so. So I think that'd be helpful mm -hmm. to them. Mm -hmm. Or if you tell us to, we'll do it. Wherever we sit, we should let them know. Because mm -hmm. I think they're going to, 
to get where they're trying to go, they're going to need that someone at that level of engagement to, to drive mm -hmm. that process. Yeah. Yeah. Which I think they're trying to get some funding, I believe, or something. So G, some... G, GP Cog was going to send somebody right away. Well, there were, we're, we're, there were, I think there's someone in the budget for a shared uh, yeah. resource. Yeah. A part-time mm -hmm. shared resource with another town. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. GP Cog has yep. some, yep. some yep. interns yep. basically. Yep. Yep. Um, but awesome. that, that's not quite enough. <laughs> so I actually think that, you know, having, mm -hmm. having, ha having that plus a uh, committee focused on it will probably drive it a lot. A lot. Yeah, for sure. So anyway, yeah. again, I don't know if that's us or not, but we ought to, we ought to know. <laughs> and they ought to know. That's, that was the last one thing I wanted to add to the discussion. All right, capture that pairing in minutes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Good. All right. Well, thanks, everybody. Um, Thank you. Good to see you guys. I haven't seen you in ages, so. I know. I know. Thanks for thanks for let me you know move it one 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 week late. Um, <laughs> was that what that was that extra that extra week made it seem like it was? I, uh, I anxiously awaiting the end end of our current pandemic situation so we can have our energy committee picnic. <laughs> I know. Yeah, exactly. I can't believe we've been doing it for as long as we have. It's been, um, what was it, over two years now? Or approaching, but yeah, it's we should have. Two, yeah, it's over two years. Yeah. Because I, I was, I was going to be booted off at the end of last year. <laughs> yeah. And I remember, I remember, um, I felt, I felt very excited and and blessed to have a three-year term. So I, 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 I had at least three years to, you know, to, to prove myself. And, and that term ends at the end of this year. So that will be insane to think about that. Um, anyway, all right, do we have a motion to adjourn? I move we adjourn. Okay. Second. Any seconds? Yeah, second. All right. Okay, so moved. Good motion to see you guys. Good night, gentlemen. Good night. Thanks, Thanks, Richard. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. All right, have a good night. Bye-bye. Be well.